Hi, this is Shabir Safdar from Virilian. Jason Alcorn and I recently did an article for PR News Online where we explained how to separate your business and your personal life on Facebook by using friend lists and keeping certain groups of friends uh, with a reduced access to your personal information and the ongoing information you put on Facebook. In this web video, we're going to show you exactly how to do that. To set up friend lists that lets you aggregate your friends into different buckets, click Friends in Facebook, go to the Friends section, and click Make a New List. Go ahead and type in a name for this list of people that you don't want to share your phone number and other personal details with, and just click Acquaintances and enter it. It'll make a new list. Now you can start adding people to this list. I'm going to add my sister because she has a sense of humor, and my wife because she also says it has a sense of humor. You can come back here and add more people later, but this is a pretty simple way to add people to friend lists, and you can have a lot of them. Um, you always have one default list, which is your all friends list. And instead of actually having multiple Facebook accounts and having friends that are connected to different ones, you can just have one Facebook account and have different friend lists and add or delete people from them as appropriate. To get to set your privacy settings, go up in the top navigation bar, mouse over settings, and click privacy settings. In the privacy section of Facebook, you can see all the different places that you can actually set privacy settings on information. Go ahead and go to the profile and the contact information section. We're going to set who can see our mobile phone number. So let's go ahead and click customize, set it so only friends can see it and then set an exception. And the exception is your list of acquaintances because you don't want your acquaintances to be able to see your mobile phone number. Go ahead and click OK, which is off screen. And there you can see your mobile phone number is available to friends but not acquaintances. Save these changes. And now let's go take a look at our profile. Now that you've got your settings so that only your friends but not your acquaintances can see your mobile phone number. Let's actually test it out. Let's go ahead and type in the name of somebody who I put on my uh, acquaintances list. It's my sister. You can see here in the basic and contact information it does not list uh, my phone number. Whereas if you go back or if you go up to the top and you type in the name of another individual such as my brother-in-law, you can actually see that my phone number is in fact displayed right there. So what you've got is the ability to take specific information and restrict it based upon individuals and using friend lists be able to separate those individuals out. In fact there's all kinds of information on Facebook uh, about you if you actually actively use it and you can set privacy settings for quite a lot of it. Uh, spend some time in the privacy in the pro privacy profile section and you can uh, look at the different ways in which you can restrict information uh, to different groups of friends that you may or may not want to be uh, incredibly disclosive to. So that's the tutorial. Go ahead and if you have a question or you have problems leave them in the comments either on the YouTube page for this video or on uh, our page at truthypr.com. Bye-bye.